The finals has been out for more than six months now, and while we have all taken a general understanding of the game, a strong grasp on the tactics expected of offense or defense strategies, and what each weapons and gadget will bring to the game, we are also facing a new problem common to all of us, general and muscle memory. That problem comes from players repeating the same actions tens, hundreds or even thousands of times. You might have played 500 rounds of power shift as a light class and know that you can easily take on a 1v2 or even 1v3 situation, but then you run into a rank game, play the same class, loadouts, weapons and tactics and suddenly you are on a defeat repeat for the next 2 hours. Today we will review the 12 most common mistakes that player makes and that hinders their progress in the game. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Our first mistake of the day is poor map awareness. Map awareness is crucial in the finals. It's not just about running and gunning, it's about knowing where your teammates are and where your enemies might be lurking. Considering the high impact and high presence of verticality in the game, missing out on understanding key angles, spots or map structure could be a fatal mistake for you and your team. Too often, players get tunnel vision, focusing only on what's directly in front of them. But by expanding your awareness to the entire map, you can anticipate enemy movements, coordinate with your team, and control key areas more effectively. Our second mistake today will be neglecting objectives. I will never repeat it enough. In this game, winning isn't about getting the most kills. It's about strategizing on how to attack objectives and how to defend them once you've done so. Whether it's capturing points, delivering payloads, or confirming that sweet vault cash, objectives are your ticket to victory. Yet, many players get caught up in the thrill of combat and forget about the bigger picture. Remember, every kill should be a step towards fulfilling the objective and securing the win for your team. Mistake number three, misusing abilities. Abilities can be the detail that completely turns the tide of a battle in your favor, but only if you use them wisely. Too often, players waste their abilities on minor skirmishes or fail to coordinate them with their team. We all know that heavy player that immediately uses his charge after spawning, then dying in the first 5 seconds later because the ability is on cooldown. Each ability has its own strength and weaknesses, so take the time to learn how and when to use them for maximum impact, whether it's the healing beam, a mesh shield or any crowd control ability like a glitch trap or a pyro grenade, make every ability count. I'd love to know if you agree with me or not, so get in the comment section and tell me which ability you think has the best chance to be worthy of being lined up in most of your games. Moving on to our fourth mistake of the day, not communicating with teammates. Communication is key, full stop. I could stop this tip right here and it should be enough, but fine, let's go a little further. It's not enough to rely on your individual skills. You need to work together as a team to succeed. Yet, many players remain silent, leaving their teammates in the dark about their intentions and strategies. Whether it's calling out enemy positions, coordinating attacks or requesting assistance, effective communication can mean the difference between victory and defeat. Always keep in mind that no matter how good you are, no one can read your mind. In a team-based game like the finals, discord between team members and the actions they undertake is an immediate death warrant. Mistake number 5. Overextending. Overextending is a common mistake in the finals that can cost you a lot. And don't get me wrong, every level of player does this at one point or another. I would even say that this is probably my biggest mistake when playing most of the time. It's tempting to chase after kills or push into enemy territory, but doing so without proper support can leave you vulnerable to counterattacks. And if you do fail and miserably die, not only can you expect to fail your attack or defense, but this is usually a very triggering moment for the rest of your team that can very easily lead to internal discord. Instead, know your limits and stick with your team. By staying together and controlling key areas of the map, you can amplify the power of your actions, maintain the upper hand and secure the win. Jumping into mistake number 6. Ignoring weapon variability. Each weapon in the game has its own strengths and weaknesses, so it's important to choose the right tool for the right job. That being said, many players stick with their favorite weapons regardless of the situation. Whether it's a close-range shotgun, a long-range sniper rifle, or a versatile assault rifle, adapt your loadout to match the demands of the map to maximize your effectiveness. 
While the meta concept is one that usually gets players gritting their teeth, it is a fact that a game revolves around the meta, and if you are searching for that win, you will need to learn to be adaptable. And that's a great transition for the next point. Mistake 7. Failing to adapt loadouts. Loadouts are more than just a collection of weapons and abilities. They're your toolkit for success. Sadly, many players stick with the same loadout match after match, regardless of the map or game mode. Don't be afraid to experiment with different loadouts and find a combination that works best for you but also for your team. Always keep in mind that teamwork is key in each game and some loadouts, while being very efficient for your own playstyle, might completely wreck the team synergy, while another approach could instead have given a combo effect to duplicate your effectiveness even if it includes something you don't enjoy or are simply not used to playing. Whether it's a balanced loadout for all situations or a specialized loadout for specific scenarios, adaptability is key to staying ahead of the competition. The next mistake to avoid is the lack of patience. Patience is a virtue. Rushing headlong into battle without assessing the situation can lead to unnecessary death and loss of opportunities. Instead, take the time to gather information plan your approach and coordinate with your team. Whether it's waiting for the perfect moment to strike or holding your ground against an enemy attack, patience can turn the tide of battle in your favor. Keep in mind that 50 kills will not make you win a match, but zero kills with 50 good attacks and defense surely will. Let's now look into our ninth mistake of the day, not utilizing cover. Cover is your best friend in the finals, yet many players fail to take advantage of this simple yet effective tactic. Instead of exposing yourself to enemy fire, use cover to minimize damage and gain a tactical advantage. Whether it's a wall, a crate, or a piece of debris, always be aware of your surroundings and use cover to your advantage. In a game like this one, a couple of bullets blocked by any structure can be what it takes to make sure your enemy drops before you or that he runs his entire mag before you do, leaving him open to a strong counterattack. Mistake number 10. Using coins at the wrong moment. Coins are a unique feature of the finals. Because of that, it can be quite difficult to understand how and when to use them properly. Players will tend to go for the approach that if they died, their team is now suffering, as an obvious baseline, that is true. But in reality, wiping can have a very good impact if played properly. Let's put this in details. Imagine you have just died and your team is now 2v3. By the time you have the option to coin, there is a good chance that your team has either lost another member, if not both, or is about to. If you decide to coin at that point with the thought that you will join them as soon as possible to bring reinforcements, there is a very good chance that by the time you reach them, they will both be dead. Now, because of your decision to coin, your team has lost another 30 to 45 seconds to get back to a three-man team, if we include the time to walk back to them. If instead you had decided to make the call and tell your team to let themselves die instead of you coining, you would have had enough time as a full team to go push that difficult objective one more time and maybe capture it. Moving on to mistake 11. Underestimating the importance of practice. Practice makes perfect in most FPSs, but many players underestimate the value of consistent practice and skill improvement. Mastery of the game requires dedication, effort, and the willingness to learn from mistakes. We all wish we were that genius that becomes top 10 of the leaderboard just by looking at the game. But the reality is that you are playing against players putting in the time and effort to look into every single minor detail of how they play and are willing to review each of them to get better. You cannot expect to perform against these players without putting in the same level of efforts. Commit to regular practice sessions, analyze your gameplay and actively seek opportunities for improvement and you will see direct improvement. And for our last mistake of the day, ignoring team composition. Each class and loadout brings their own unique abilities and strength to the table. So it's important to build a well-rounded team that can cover all the bases. That being said, many players overlook team composition and simply choose their favorite characters without considering how they synergize with the rest of the team. Whether it's balancing offense and defense, filling key roles like tank or support or countering enemy strategies, always think about how your team composition can give you the edge in battle. 
Again, that will require you to have a general understanding of the game and its current meta so that you understand whether your class, gadget, specialization or weapon will have a positive or negative impact on your team and you in a high intensity exchange with an enemy team. And that is it for today crew. If you enjoyed the video, we've only cashed out $525 so far and we're going to need a hell of a lot more if we want to confirm consistent victory. If you want to support me, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. It was a pleasure to look in depth at what mistakes we all make and try to bring light to them to support you to get more consistent victories. Guys, the last thing that remains to be said is that I will see you on the next one.